Welcome to another Hierarchy Game Developer video and this week I'm just going to be showing off some of the new things I've been doing which is mainly to do with abilities of players the interaction between the AI units and the player uh, health bars, moves and some other small pieces so let's jump straight in just have a quick overview of the environment that we're using in game you can see it's changed slightly, I'll be explaining the various pieces and you'll also notice that we have two bots both sitting around waiting to run around and do our bidding so let's jump straight in put the maximize on good and you can see that we've got a hexagon underneath the player that represents standard selection now currently it's just being built onto all living units in the game living being a script that we have or that we inherit from and also you can see that we've got some standard health bars as well as another red ring around the player. This is just for the purposes of, it, of this video to represent the default attack range and the blue one around the small box is to represent their line of sight and what, at what point they can detect you. So let's just let them separate a bit and then we'll move on but for now we can just demonstrate some moves. Pressing Q allows us to access the teleport go straight there, got a two second cooldown on it go there again W accesses the thrown projectile go straight through, it collides with players or living entities and will give damage if possible hitting an obstacle layer will destroy the game object and hitting E uses the not yet utilised homing missile which kind of works and kind of doesn't but it's just in there to test another power button that's all that'll probably be in the next update video so now that they've separated let me just go and show you how this works so if we go up here and we go into the range of the enemy you can see it starts throwing those knives at me straight away I'm currently dodging them all but if I stand still you'll see it hits me I've currently got a, quite a super regen on for the player in order to last a bit longer so if I use mine on him see there he goes and he, he too has a regen so if I attack him now there you go lose some health and now what you're about to see is if I run away I'll just carry on doing his stuff so what I can also do is I can say okay I want to attack this guy over here click him and my player will make his way to him I'll just start attacking him as soon as he gets there and I can teleport away if I need to what I've added into the game as well is behaviours so these are scripts that I hopefully intend to attach, perhaps more than one of, to add a combined effect to certain AI elements, and in doing so, I can have them act in certain ways when certain events are triggered. For example, the one I've made already is low health, and so when a unit's at low health, do this. And it's quite a generic system, or it intends to be as well, but for now it still is what you can do is you can simply create a new behaviour and just override the certain events that you want to be called. So if we just go and change the... let's go to this and we'll change the regen to be <coughs> a smaller amount and let's change the percent to be 50 and finally let's go and change the health regen limit to be a little bit weaker, so that way, yeah, I'll do it for four seconds. Yeah, so now it'll take longer. You understand once I get this going, so we'll start it up again and just go and attack straight away. There we go. I'm gonna attack him now, and gonna get itself really low, and I'm gonna teleport away and watch what happens. Starts to panic, and you can see his speed's increase, and literally just goes all over the place or even get stuck on walls or his friends and he'll just run away and this is called this is a flea behaviour that I've got on there it simply just runs and runs and runs until such time its health's gotten back to a high level obviously as you saw I put the regen quite low so it's going to be wild that he does that he doesn't seek safety he just simply goes to wherever he's supposed to go he's probably cracked out now because he just went and destroyed all his waypoints but fair enough bang he's gone. Hit his low, his low health threshold and off he went. So if we go in here 
Ooh. See the regen it takes a while now because I've turned it down. And bang, finish him. So that's the flea behaviour, and you can see if I just look at the structure in the hierarchy, aptly named. Let's go go for these. I've got the flea behaviour here. And if I just show you the code for that, it's very basic. Okay, you can see I've got the low health overriding various behaviours that I've got in there, outnumbered, etc. And I tend to have more based on what's going on, and it will simply alter anything that it needs to. So low health goes directly to the AI movement, once there's a speed, and then tells it to just keep, keep getting different waypoints, random ones. I did have some other functionality in here, I'm just going to give a shade, which is to go and get the furthest away waypoint, and then go from there. However, I've removed that for now in the interest of just demonstrating what it's meant to do. And now if we just go and have a look at the... In fact, we'll, we'll leave that as it is. And we'll go and I'll show you off. I'll show you the... What I'm talking about. I'll show you the climb mechanics that I've got at the moment. So I'm just going to destroy this. There we go. And with him gone, I'm just going to get with the other one so we don't get interrupted. Okay, now you can see these blocks up here, these lighted areas, if you look at the items you can see, as well as up here, the gizmos represent, I've got some different lighting. If I just use the C button, C to represent climb, and then left click in an area, the player will go to that area and try and climb up if possible. So for example though, if I press C and then click down here, you can see nothing's happening. And if I go back down again, just to demonstrate, but we can even do it from here. If I, if I see and then click here, nothing. See in here, nothing. But if I go in a certain vicinity of that node there, the bot will find its way to the bottom node and then go to the corresponding top node. And I can do it on multiple levels. So you can see I've got another one here. It goes all the way across. Teleport back down again. I can't even say go straight to this one, but you'd have to walk all the way around. And currently, due to the camera angle, I've got the camera set up wrong, so it won't pick it up. It doesn't seem to be picking up any now, but you can see the basic premise behind it. And this will allow the player in, you know, terrain where the where the level is quite uh, having mountains and different inaccessible areas, or inaccessible even, will allow the player to move around get to areas that he shouldn't or perhaps take shortcuts to get to items which aren't currently available. So there's all, all sorts of features in this in this video but um, I'm hoping to in the next one maybe expand upon the health system, have some sort of icon available to signify what behaviour is currently in play in terms of what the AI is experiencing, build upon the moves a little bit more, maybe get a couple more in there to demonstrate and then get the items working as well. So down here is a box that will eventually be an item, but for now it's just sitting there dormant. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and it's been quite a long one, and uh, I've followed my speech a couple of times, but do excuse me, I'm crazy programming on this, and hopefully we'll have some more features for you the next time you watch the video. Cheers, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave any feedback in the comments. Thanks.